Hello guys, today I will be showing you how to install Ubuntu on a USB stick and uh, what is Ubuntu? Well, it's an uh, operation system like Windows or Mac OS but it's based on uh, Linux and it's uh, free and what I'm going to do is I'm going to install it on a USB stick and that is going to allow you to insert this USB stick in any computer and open up uh, and boot from the USB stick and then you'll have your uh, yeah, your desktop there and everything will be exactly the same and when you log out and shut down the computer and open up the USB stick on another computer all the changes that you did to the systems and all the file that you saved will still be there so let's get started then you'll be needing a virtual box and you can download it from the link in the description and you'll also need a copy of Ubuntu you can download it here I've already downloaded and installed VirtualBox and I've downloaded Ubuntu uh, Ubuntu is uh, the operation system is uh, about half a gigabyte so it takes some time to download so that's why I already downloaded it so start with to walk through the whole VirtualBox installation and when you've finished it uh, open up VirtualBox yeah, mine is loading a bit so here and uh, when you open up you see I've already done uh, Ubuntu here but I'm going to throw this one away uh, so yeah now and then you press new here and uh, walk through through the guide what well, here it's asking for what you're going to name your operation or what you're going to name the virtual machine and if you wonder what virtual box does it's allowing you to run Ubuntu inside Windows and this is needed for us to install Ubuntu on a USB stick and the USB stick that you will use needs to be at least about 8 gigabytes oh, it needs to be at least 8 gigabytes that's the smallest yeah, memory capacity and I'm going to name my uh, like you Ubuntu and then it's changed everything here otherwise if you name it something else you need to change these to Linux and uh, Ubuntu then next press next and here is how much uh, working memory your uh, virtual box your virtual machine will have I'm going to move this to about 800 megabytes you won't be needing more than that or no I will take like one gig uh, so and then next and now you in this one is asking you what if you want to start open a new virtual disk and you just press next and then another walkthrough comes up and uh, don't do not change any settings here just leave this and uh, this one also you'll just leave and here you choose how much memory your uh, virtual machine needs to have uh, but you can leave this at 8 gigabytes you won't be needing more so then or yeah maybe I would change mine to like 10 and then you just press next and uh, create and yes now it's it's kind of a sh short description how your uh, virtual box box will be and you just click create so now you have your uh, virtual box, uh, machine here uh, now to 
open up Ubuntu, you need to have downloaded a copy of Ubuntu, like I've done. And now, now you start up your virtual machine. And it's going to help you find your the Ubuntu file. Just press next and then press here. And then you choose which file you want to use. It's um, here's mine, so I'm just gonna choose that one and open and press next. And it's telling you some stuff that you can read, read this if you want, and then just start. So now it's booting up uh, Ubuntu. This may take some time. So, yeah. So, what I'm going to do is I have a USB stick. I will be starting this. Um, I'll be plugging in this USB stick format it uh, and uh, I will create two uh, partitions on the USB stick one that you're going to install Ubuntu on and another where you it's going to be like one gig and that partition is for uh, uh, using uh, it's for your files if you want to share your files with between windows and ubuntu uh, you see um windows can't read the partition that ubuntu is uh, in so now it's loading here gonna press full screen here is choose uh, yeah wait i'm just gonna just gonna press uh, full screen up here view uh, change your full screen and it's just telling you some things because it shows so now how hey yeah, i'm going to choose try ubuntu and yeah so now i've booted up into ubuntu here and when you've done that now insert your usb stick into the computer I've already done it and then go down here and find the USB stick uh, the USB symbol then right click and choose your USB stick and press it so then it uh, will allow the virtual box as access to your USB stick and after you have done that you will need to wait for some time because then your computer will need to install the drive drivers for virtualbox usb connection and when it's finished with that then so now then i'm going to search here for gparted or sorry spell it that wrong and start it up it's searching for all devices right now so and uh, up here you'll see this is the the memory that i allowed my virtual machine to have it's like the virtual hard drive but i'm going to change that one to this one on uh, 7.46 gigabyte that's my usb stick and you'll see that i've already here you see that i've already uh, made two partitions but I will delete the, those two so I'm going to delete this one and then delete this one and when you're done with that you press the green check here to really delete them because now it's only deleted on you know it seems like that but apply all operations and just press apply and remember you will not won't be able to save anything on your memory so be sure to save uh, to back up everything or just throw the thing throw it away now we close that one and now you have like i have 7.46 gigabit of unalkylated memory so i need to format this i'm just gonna do it from the beginning because it's messing up a new size here I'm gonna choose 500 megabyte and choose 32 as I said before and call it files my files so and 
add now we have rare and rest where you're going to install ubuntu you right click and choose new and uh, yeah it's going to be take all the size and this one you also has its primary partition and file system will be ext3 and uh, the label i'm going to name it ubuntu so and then uh let's see yeah and now to formate the usb stick you're going to apply operations and just please apply it's going to load for a bit as you can see it's loading Yeah, it's loading and it's taking some time. But when it's finished, um, I'm going to now when it's finished, I will install Ubuntu on this USB stick. Some downsides with using Ubuntu from a USB stick will be that it's going to be a bit slower and uh, you won't be able to like say. A ton of programs because you won't have the memory for that uh, but um, so, uh, yeah so meanwhile it's loading my USB lamp is blinking and it's loading uh, yeah I'll be come back when it's done.